Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh kit from Flyhawk and as usual you can check full review article here in the video description below you can find the link, just click it and read text in English and Russian with detailed photos. So here we have HMS Campbelltown 1942 uh, this kit might be familiar with, for you because we reviewed the simple version before and now we have a chance to check the deluxe edition as it's written here which is molded in the same scale, it features the same plastic but it also features the special bonus which you can see here so several, several threads of the photo edge metal, metal barrel, some other metal accessories and also rigging from Ushi as you can see box size is not that big but it features different design, it's finished in black color here you can see comparison with my hand size on the back side we have just some short history note about the real uh, ship and also some safety devices on the sides and this is a side opening box so just give me a second to open it package is quite tight and the assembled model will be small because it's 700 scale and as you can see all plastic parts are packed into their own plastic bags so we will start with uh, plastic sprues and the first one is actually dedicated to engine propellers and lifeboats as you can see molding quality is very nice even though the size of those parts is really tiny and it's quite impressive I mean all this comes out of the box without any extra resin or other let's say aftermarket then we have hull parts hull parts are um, packed into the separate plastic bag as well just give me a second to open it and we will check them closer basically they are the same as what we saw in the previous kit and the previous version of this kit so as you can see there are three parts and they should be assembled together actually fit is quite good I already showed uh, this in the previous review and here you can see the dry feet for example next we have more of the plastic sprues but this time they are packed into the ziplock bag and they feature quite an interesting structure which might be familiar for some of you who already tried flyhawk kits before so as you can see these are two plastic frames which are interconnected together and they are basically in, let's say fixed in place and it will be difficult to move them and it's quite good solution so that parts will stay intact and as you can see on this spruce we have uh, machine guns AA guns let's say which should be placed on the uh, ship and molding quality again is quite impressive because size of those parts is really tiny and you have to be careful while painting them of course and next we have another similar plastic sprue which is packed into this uh, separate plastic bag and here we have lifeboats here you can see them and here is another side next we have slightly bigger plastic frame this one is dedicated to the top deck and also some external parts of course just give me a second Okay, so here it is. Note the attachment points, which are, uh, let's say, well thought and placed on the sides of the parts so it will be easier to separate it without damaging. And also, it features very nice detailing. I mean, everything is promoted, and any other extra parts you, you have to install separately. And you can see them in the next plastic bag, they're carefully packed. Again, give me a moment to open them and I will show them to you. Basically, design of those parts is similar to what we saw in some ship kits from this manufacturer. So, for example, here you can see some parts, superstructures, which are placed on one plastic connection. So, we just carefully separate it and you are ready to go. Here you can see one more. Now, let's zoom in so that you can check them closer and as you can see again molding quality is really impressive even here on this sprue you can see very thin part and it's molded in excellent quality next we have PE threads as you remember there are several of them 
and they're packed into the same plastic bag we use rigging um, thread and also some other extra bonuses so just give me a second to open it and we will check what's inside okay so here we have rigging thread from Ushi here it is in the middle just in case next we have decal sheet and some metal parts by the way metal parts are really tiny and I want open plastic bag just in order not to lose them but here they are I'll zoom in so that you can see them closer so here you can see them one and here where is it? here you can see the second one these are really impressive in their size and you have to be careful while applying them on the model because it's easy to lose them and then you have a sad moment let's say next we have decal sheet this one features different flags all four are printed in excellent quality so no worries and I hope that application will be easy uh, as far as I know from my previous experience with Flyhawk kits uh, those decals should be easy to apply on the model uh, next we have some safety devices and of course PE threads just give me a second I will tear them off the cardboard because they are attached with paper clip so here is the first plastic bag and here you can see PE parts for the ship stand, for the rails and some external equipment note that they are unpainted and the second PE thread features more of the railings and different letters, here you can see them even figurines of the sailors everything is included here and it should look impressive in the assembled state let's say and last but not the least is assembly manual which is finished in typical style for all those ship kits from Flyhawk as you can see it's a vertical brochure with some paint uh, color markings let's say here you can see figurines and it's written that you can place them wherever you need and here you can see marking option one and only we paint numbers given in Mr. Hobby, Tamiya and WEM color codes so that's all for this video review I hope you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section below and if you want to help us press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel I will appreciate your help of course, I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!